For men at risk for prostate cancer, there's a new test worth considering. Prostate MRI is a safe, highly accurate test that can detect and assess prostate cancer. It can also rule out the disease, and that can help you avoid an unnecessary biopsy. I had an elevated PSA test, and I knew that I needed to check out my prostate. I have a lot of uh, friends, some my age, some younger than me, uh, and many of them have had prostate cancer. PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen, and it's a protein that's produced by the prostate gland. The first area of confusion that arises is that PSA is produced by cancer in the prostate, but it's also produced by normal prostate tissue. So when a man has an elevated PSA, it's not specific. In fact, seven out of 10 times, the elevation is due to non-cancerous things, such as inflammation, that's called prostatitis, or enlargement of the gland, benign enlargement, that's called benign prostatic hypertrophy, or scarring. Um, and cancer is one of the things, but not the most common thing that causes PSA, elevation. My doctor said that the only way that they could tell me whether or not I had prostate cancer or not was to do a biopsy, period. The problem in the past is many men with PSA elevated for benign reasons went on to biopsy. There are side effects associated with random biopsy, which is an invasive procedure with needles passed through the back passage. The most serious and important complication is infection and sometimes they can be quite serious. And I took my time and did some careful, considered research and on um, what other uh, alternatives th there were uh, to doing a biopsy. And I came up with uh, doing a prostate MRI that the technology has advanced, uh, accelerated at such a great level that uh, it was in many ways much better than a, than a biopsy. And of course, I didn't have to get stuck in that part of the body or no anesthesia and needles and all this kind of thing and it was much more complete. In Michael's case, he did his research, realized that there is a, another pathway which is the MRI pathway, is a triage between PSA and biopsy and came to us, had his exam, we reviewed the exam together he had an MRI appearance of inflammation, which, which fit with his history. He had a long history of pain in the pelvis, that, which is called prostatitis. He did not have anything in the MRI that looked like a tumor suspicious area. That there was nothing that looked like a cancer. He pointed out to me, it took like about 10 or 15 minutes and really explained everything to me. And it really was a... Uh, a really great feeling. It's the first time in my life that I've ever sat down with a radiologist and uh, had anything explained to me. So his MRI was negative and his PSA density was not at all alarming. It was in the normal range. So we were able to discuss the case and say, listen, in my opinion, I don't think you need to go to biopsy this time. Your, the MR does not show anything that looks like a high-grade cancer. Your symptoms suggest chronic inflammation, and he elected to forego a biopsy. Because I have a wife and two kids, I want to be around for a long time. I've lived a good life, but I figure i got a lot more living to do. So I wanted to be assured that I don't have prostate cancer, even something that's starting to look like prostate cancer, and I wanted to be comfortable in the result. That's why I chose to have a prostate MRI as opposed to doing a biopsy. If you have two or more of the risk factors, you may be a candidate for prostate MRI. Only Imaging Healthcare Specialist has San Diego's leading prostate MRI risk assessment program, which includes the most up-to-date MRI systems, specially trained technologists, and the region's most experienced radiology team in performing and interpreting prostate MRI. I chose to have my MRI at, of the prostate at Imaging Healthcare Specialist because they have the absolute best equipment and the best neuroradiologist. If you're at risk for prostate cancer, consider prostate MRI. Schedule yours today.